All right, welcome to your introduction to Blackboard for AP Statistics. Um, you are going to have two videos you need to watch. This first one is just going over where to find everything in Blackboard, and the second one will be your academic expectations or what you'll be expected to do from the course. Um, just keep in mind, honestly, as long as you keep up with the course, turn in your material on time, do quiz corrections and retakes when necessary, make sure you get sort of the easy points in the sense of like discussion boards and frappies, um, the course will do, you'll do very well in the course. Um, so just keep that in mind. Just stay ahead on top of the calendar and you'll do fine. Okay, so let's just go over um, the buttons that you'll see in the course and how you should work throughout this course weekly. All right, so number one, you always want to come to announcements. This first announcements portion right here is usually the announcements that I'll send out an email if there's anything going on or something that I've added. I will always put that right here in addition to an email that I send out. Down here is the information for quiz and test retakes. We'll actually go over that at the end of this chat. The other important thing is to take a look at is this calendar. So this calendar, you should have printed out, hopefully, if you look down here, here's the year-long calendar. Print that out right now. Put it in the front of your binder um, so that you can quickly and easily reference it. If you lose it, however, it is right here for you to take a look at. Um, what you're going to do is your, every single due date, this is actually changed from what's in the syllabus, is going to be on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Um, the reason it's not on a Thursday was because I didn't want you to have to have chat and all your material due on the sec same day. So you're going to take a look at this calendar. It's going to tell you where to go for each section and what needs to be completed in that section. All right, so for example, let's just take a look at what's due on Wednesday the 6th. Um, number one, you're going to have to have a 1.1 hiring discussion or hiring discrimination discussion board. So that means 1.1 means you're going to go to unit one, section one, that's in that content material you're going to complete the discussion board that goes along with that section and we'll go over on the side where to find all those discussion boards um, you'll have to do the 1.3 homework and the 1.4 quiz okay so this kind of looks like it's a lot to do but um, the discussion board is pretty quick and the first couple of homework assignments for the first couple of units are also pretty quick so don't be overwhelmed just by the first um, week or two that you have going on Okay, so it's going to tell you, so 1.3 homework, that's going to say, okay, you need to go to chapter one, look at um, section three, complete that homework. 1.4 quiz means go to unit one, make sure you've completed section four, and then take that quiz. Okay, so this is going to tell you what's due every day. Um, exams are always going to be highlighted in yellow, and then exam corrections when they're due will always be stated um, on that specific date. Okay. So let's go up and take a look at what our um, course is going to look like. Okay, so the announcements is what it looks like when you first come onto the course. Um, this getting started folder, hopefully you already have that completed. That will go away. Um, make sure you've clicked on this link right here and completed everything in that. Now, the course content, these next three buttons are sort of going to be the main buttons that you use. The course content is where you're going to learn everything. This is where all of your material is. This is like your book. Course content is basically your book. So let's actually just go down to unit two and take a look at this course content. Okay. Now, um, it, within each section, you're going to have a couple of different things. Number one, you're going to have calculator instructions. Number two, you're going to have videos, PDFs, and PowerPoints for each section. Number three, you're also going to have uh, additional practice and examples and videos for you to take a look at. So what you're going to do for each section to study is I would highly suggest at the beginning of each unit is printing out these reading, um, guided reading notes. So all they are is you print them out, and they're basically like taking notes in class. So you'll sort of answer questions on them um, as you're working through the PowerPoints or PDFs. Okay, so let's take a look at section 2.1. Content just means like this is where the nitty gritty is. This is where you're learning your material. You have three ways to do this. Number one, the PowerPoint. Okay, if you're sort of like clicking through the slides, totally fine. You can also print that out with the nice little outline on the side. You could do the PDF, which is the same thing as the PowerPoint, just in PDF format, or you can watch the videos. So each videos are in 15 minute increments. If you go through the PowerPoint and there's like one or two things you don't understand, just go to the video and go to that slide. So the video is the same as the PowerPoint and the PDF. It's just me explaining the material. So if you feel like you need a teacher explaining it, I would um, try watching these videos. That might be helpful. Okay, so this is where everything 
that you need for your tests and your quizzes, the AP exam, your midterm and your final, that's where that's all gonna come from is that content section, okay? Now, let's say you do that and you're like, oh, I still not, you know, I could use some extra examples. There are extra video examples within each section. So notice this says section 2.1, infects effects of a transformation on distribution. If you didn't really understand what that meant, you can just watch this three minute video. It's somebody else actually working through a problem. Okay, um, step three, there's just a bunch of uh, YouTube videos. That's another teacher actually explaining the material. So if you feel like you need somebody else to explain it, click on that. There's another explanation. And then one of the main things that I'd like to highlight is this practice here. So this practice, there's a practice after every section. Um, you're not required to do this. This is just extra practice. But the practice models the homework assignments really, really well. So notice you have a practice and you have an answer key to it. So if you're going through this material and you feel like there's not quite enough examples to do your homework with, always take a look at these practice questions because they model what your homework assignments are. And remember that you can use these practice questions, you can use the PowerPoints, you can ask me questions all for your homework assignments because your homework assignments are graded for correctness. So use the tools that you have within the course to help you understand it, do well. Statistics is... You'll be surprised it's a lot of writing, but getting all the nitty gritty stuff in, okay? And I think if you use these as models in your um, PowerPoints and PDFs, it will be very, very helpful. So I would suggest um, maybe at the beginning of each unit, printing out your guided reading notes, um, your PowerPoints or your PDFs, the practice problems, just so you sort of have everything all together. Okay, so for example, section 2.2, same thing. All right, so this is your PowerPoint, your PDF. Here's the videos of all of them. Okay, they're each 15 minutes long. And then, like I said, if you feel like you need extra practice, there's more practice at the bottom, some YouTube videos, and then in red is gonna tell you what you actually have to do to turn in, but that's all gonna be on your calendar. So you'll know if you, once you've completed section 2.2, you will have to do a homework assignment, you will have to do a quiz, and you will have to do a discussion board, okay? So once again, here's your videos. At the end, here's the practice. So these practice problems right here would really model your homework assignment. Um, I would print those out or just try them, have them available to work with while you're working on your homework assignments. Um, and at the bottom of every unit, I won't ever be collecting these. There will always be some sort of review. So before you take your test um, at the end of each unit, I would suggest going through some of these review packets right here just to make sure you understand everything. If there's something that you didn't quite grasp while you are going over the material, this is the place to, to use that. So that's always great extra practice for you to take a look at. Okay, so that's your course content. That's sort of your nitty gritty. Um, after you've gone through each section, what you'll do is you'll be doing the graded assignments. So graded assignments in this section, this will have all of your tests, your quizzes, and your homework assignments that you'll need to turn in. Okay, make sure you have CAM scam. Uh, that's explained in your Getting Started folder. And then I just have an example right here of a good test correction um, that we'll go over a little bit later. All right, so let's just, for example, take a look at unit one, homework tests and quizzes. Okay, all right, so for example, let's say we wanna take section 1.2 quiz. Now, what I want you to notice is it does have a time limit. Please don't get freaked out by the time limit. Um, there is a time limit, however, if the time goes up, don't stop the quiz and don't rush because even though the time limit's up, you can still finish the quiz and take as much time as you need. It's sort of like a guideline. Um, and then the only thing that happens is if you go over time, I get like in the grade book, it says, oh, there you went over time by five minutes, okay? And if I'm noticing, you know, that you're consistently over time by 15 or 20 minutes, then we might, you know, have a conversation as to why. Um, but just please keep that in mind. You can take longer than the allotted time, okay? Um, also, once you start a quiz uh, or a test, that's, this is multiple choice. These are all multiple choice right here, this little one right this little symbol right here. Once you start that, you have to finish. So don't um, start the quiz, go eat dinner, and then come back because it's going to freeze and you're gonna have to ask me to reset it. And after the second reset, you'll have to actually sit down and schedule a time with me to do this on Blackboard, um, which you don't wanna do. So once you've started the quiz, just make sure you've allotted enough time to finish it. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this at the end, um, but let's say that you feel like you need to do a quiz correction if you've gotten an 80% uh, or lower, this is where you turn that in. Anything that looks like this, this is actually a document that you turn in. Um, 
the test correction template is right here. You'll click on that, download it, print it out, or you don't have to print it out. This one you can either type or handwrite. I don't care. It's completely up to you. Um, here's your homework assignments. Print those out. They have to be handwritten. Um, you'll use those. You'll use the cam scanner to scan that um, back in into uh, back into Blackboard. And I always make comments on them. So once I've graded it, please make sure you take a look at it and go back and um, look at the corrections that I've made so that you don't make the same mistakes on the test. Okay. Um, and then we'll make sure that the retakes are also on here. Okay, so notice how this also says 1.4 AP question that was on the um, on the calendar. So that's where that is in here. So anytime you're looking for anything that needs to be turned in, it's always under graded assignments. Okay, with the exception of the next two, I guess. At the end of each unit, you'll be working on frappies. Okay, so you might ask what a frappy is. A frappy is just free response questions. These are really important. These are actually easy ways to earn points and study for your exam all at the same time. So um, I know that they may seem long sometimes, but they're actually very helpful. Um, they'll prepare you for the AP exam. They'll prepare you for your tests and quizzes. So just sort of be aware of that. Um, so what they'll, they are is at the end of each unit, you'll be turning in the frappies. You'll click on uh, this. This will be your actually your frappy right here. And then notice how there's an answer key. What your goal is, is your goal is to do the frappy. You can use your notes. You can use your PowerPoints. You can use whatever. And then after you do the frappy, which is just a free response question, then you'll take a look at the key and actually self-grade it to see how you would do if you were taking the AP exam. Okay, so that's what you're going to do at the end of every unit basically as long as you complete them and grade them then you're good to go you'll get your 10 points for it okay this section right here is your discussion board so um, if you notice actually a lot of you have already completed the first discussion um, nine of you have yay go you um, but this is where you'll turn in anything that says discussion board so 1.1 hiring discrimination that's all right here so you'll actually just click on the um, name of the discussion board and in order to to create one, you'll hit create thread right here. Once you hit create thread, um, you'll just put your answer down in the message and hit submit. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. Just make sure almost all your discussion boards are two parts, one that you've made and one that's a response to somebody else's. Okay, um, student homepage, we're not gonna take a look at right now. Um, we'll do that in a little bit. This chat link right here, this is where you'll click on to have our live chats on Thursdays every week. Once I get a response from everybody, I will state the time that we're having that. Now chat recordings right here. Uh, so for example, the introduction will be in here along with your academic expectation, um, uh, academic expectation <laughs> video. Okay. And then once we start having chat recordings, folders will pop up. And if you miss a recording, what you'll do is you'll just click on the date of the recording. There'll be a word document that goes with it and you'll fill out the word document that goes with the recording. Um, submit that and you'll have a week to do that. So as long as you've completed it within a week, then you'll get your full, full credit for the chat that you missed. Okay. This section is really important. The returned work, my grades. So, um, just make Make sure that it, once you've submitted an assignment, uh, you'll have an explanation point next to each of these grades. Obviously, I haven't submitted anything here. So uh, explanation point next to each and every one of these. To see what you've missed, you'll need to actually click on your grade. So once you click on your grade, it will actually take you to your assignment. All right. So that's a lot of people get confused by that. And make sure you're going back and taking a look at that. Um, your syllabus and your course documents, this is all in that getting started folder also. You can take a look at that. Um, my information's right here. So if you need to contact me via uh, email, I have two contacts. They're both the same. But um, And then if you need any information from Blackboard, that's right here. We don't actually need that. Okay, we're going to skip that portion. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to go over is, um, is I just wanted to go over the test quick corrections and retakes. All right, so let's say we take a test or quiz. You don't do, do as well as you would have liked. What can you do? If you earn an 80% or above, you can do test or quiz corrections. They need to be detailed. They need to explain how to do the problem. Please do not just redo it. Make sure that you're explaining the problem like you would to a brother, sister, mom, dad. Okay? You can earn half credit back, so it gets you up to a 90%. If you earn an 80% or below, you can do a retake. So first, you'll need to do your test corrections to demonstrate your understanding of the material. Then once that's complete, you can do the retake of the exam or the quiz. This is only for the multiple choice, all quizzes and um, 
one part of the tests are always multiple choice. Once that's complete, you can do the retake. You can earn up to 90% on the retake, and this makes it equivalent to the students who earned above an 80%. And this will be in the same section as those graded assignments. Now your goal, you say, oh, yay, retakes, is to not have to do retakes. It sounds good, great, but remember it's going to be time consuming to do retakes along with your material. Corrections are manageable. See you guys soon.